Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a pretty exciting thrift haul to share with you guys. I have gone every single Thursday for the past three weeks to, I would say, my favorite thrift store here in Houston. It's kind of where I started out my reselling journey. I would go there every Thursday on $2 day and I would just kind of load up my cart with items that I was kind of learning about. It was really easy to, you know, make a profit on something if it's $2, you know, even if it wasn't the best brand or style, I would, you know, just kind of learn my lessons that way. But nowadays, I feel like I do know brands and styles better, so I have an even bigger profit margin when I'm picking stuff up there. And so, um, the store is really hit or miss, and over the last couple weeks it's been really awesome so I was super excited to be able to get a lot of items I think I have around a hundred items here to share with you guys everything that I will show you cost two dollars a piece which was so awesome that was great with helping me um, average out my cost of goods over the last couple months my average price per item that I spent really did go up with having to source online during quarantine. I was mostly sourcing ThreadUp. I do have a video. I spent $500 on ThreadUp um, sourcing from there. And so this stuff being $2 a piece really did help me average out my cost of goods for the last couple months. So that's always super exciting. Yeah, we have a lot to get through. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. I have, I think I have about eight pairs of shoes to show you guys and then the rest is clothing. I have just a couple pieces for myself and then we will go into the shoes. So first off, I just grabbed this little American Eagle cropped t-shirt. I just kind of live in these with leggings and high-waisted um, jeans or pants. And then my last piece I got for myself is this LuLaRoe. I never thought I would buy LuLaRoe for myself, but I thought this was adorable. This is called the CC Dress, C-I-C-I. And I just kind of loved the aqua color. It's actually really flattering and the material is really nice. So this was a good surprise. I tried it on. I love the way it fits. So moving into shoes, our first pair is this pair of booties. And they are a suede with a studded detail down the side. They have this burnished look to them. I didn't know the brand, but I could just kind of tell by the construction of the shoes, Ramonte, if you can see that there, that they were pretty high quality um, shoes and they look to be like they retail for over a hundred dollars so that's awesome. They're in great condition and these are a size 42 so I'll have to convert that. Here's the logo. It's like a horse symbol. Next up, another pair of booties. These are just Clark's Artisan. I got these because they also seem to be in amazing condition. I've already polished them. They say this is a faux fur, but it looks more like a felt to me. These are an eight and a half wide fit. Just a little basic pair of Sanuk yoga sandals. Probably a $15 sale, 15 to 18, maybe 20. I've never sold those before. I grabbed this pair of Steve Madden boots. These looked a lot like Fiorentini and Baker boots, which retail for like $500. These kind of look like a dupe for those. They're suede. These are called the Buck boots, and they're in a size six and a half. They are also in fabulous condition. Steve Madden is probably my most consistent shoe seller, so I always love when I find them for a low cost and they're in excellent condition. Okay, another brand I've never picked up before, Teos, and I've actually never seen it before, but these look like they do really well, maybe like $35 on Poshmark. These are called the Star Sneakers. They're a size 11, which is a great size, and they're kind of like a pale pink. Next, Echo. Again, I've never picked up this brand before. I have seen it a couple times, but it's either dated or it's not in the best condition. However, I found these, and they do seem a little bit more current, and they also are in 
flawless condition. I don't know if they've ever been worn. So these were an awesome find. These retail for around $170. They're a size 39. Born sneakers. These are leather upper, like a reptile print sneaker. They have kind of a sheen to them. And they're in decent condition. These should be, you know, a low, quick flip. And last pair of shoes is this kind of lace-up sandal from Sam Edelman. Again, another very consistent kind of bread and butter shoe seller for me. Okay, so now we will move on into clothing. I'm going to have to go through this stuff pretty quickly just for time's sake. So yeah, just kind of bear with me on that. So first off, this is called Reeb by Deborah Weiss. The tag is really hard to read. It's very small. But I picked this up because it looked very lagging look to me. It almost looked like a Magnolia Pearl type dress or Ace and Jig with the mixed prints. And it's a very lightweight construction, almost like linen, cotton. I think this should do really well. It looks like it's handmade in San Francisco, which is awesome. And again, it's a size large, which is great for lag and look, more mature brands and styles. Next we have just this cute graphic t-shirt from PJ Salvage. They sell this at Nordstrom, size medium, and it just says love in rainbow colors. Really cute. This is just a boutique brand. I believe it's in cream. Yeah. I've only picked this up like once before, but it did sell pretty well. It's a size medium and it's just a floral romper. I liked the style to this. These are great kind of pieces to have in your closet for people to bundle with. They just kind of bump the sale up 15, 10 or 15 dollars. Next, I loved this piece. I was so surprised. I almost, when I first saw it, I almost just left it on the rack because I figured that it had some embroidery missing or beading missing because it almost always happens when you find something this intricate like this at an outlet store but I would say 99% of the beading looks like it's intact as well as the embroidery so that was awesome this is free people it's a tunic I think it's a linen blend all of the care tag and size tags have been cut out but I'll just measure it and try to find one online that has the material tag. Okay, next this is an Athleta skirt. And I think it can also be worn, kind of hard to figure out. It can also be worn as a strapless dress. So those kind of like two-in-one pieces always do pretty well. This is the top. And it's just a gray kind of basic piece. It's a very soft. It, it's probably a rayon spandex blend. I grabbed this because tie-dye has been super on trend recently. It's a black swan, which apparently is a sub-brand that is sold by Lulu's, which Lulu's stuff does pretty well for me. I will pick it up when it's um, pretty cheap. So this is just a basic mini dress and it has some strappy details in back. I like the straps were braided. I thought that was a nice detail. I loved this top. I thought it was so cute. I just, it's 100% linen and I just really liked the pattern and the colors that are in it. It's high low. It just seems, I don't, I, don't, I can't explain it. I just really like, um, everything about this. It's made in USA. Again, it's 100% linen and it's a size small. Okay, next is a Intimately Free People. This is one of the lace trapeze dresses. These do okay. Again, they're great bread and butter. It's floral printed and then it has the lace inserts throughout. Lulu's. 
I think this is a very new dress because I could only find one on Poshmark, both available and sold. So that's great. This is a size small. I thought this would be awesome for Christmas time and the holidays. I am going to go ahead and list it. I think I just maybe won't price drop it until um, maybe closer to December. I'll go ahead and relist it if it hasn't sold. Next, this is J. McLaughlin size 12, and this is a belted dress, and this is in amazing condition. It just needs to be steamed. I haven't seen this stuff yet, sorry guys. I just wanted to go ahead and get the haul done before everything started going a million different ways. So it has a ruffle detail around the neck, and it has this great kind of fabric covered belt at the waist to accentuate and it zips in back. This is a pinup swimsuit, pinup style swimsuit, and I just really like the cherry print with the polka dots. I think it should do really well, and it is a larger size, which is great. So the brand is, let me see, it does have the padding, which is awesome. Suddenly Swim by Catalina, size extra large, which is 16 to 18. And again, this pinup style is just super um, desirable, sought after, especially in larger sizes. Some more bread and butter. This is J. Jill, size medium, super soft, floral printed maxi dress. I thought this would be great for summertime. have a new with tags free people linen blend shirt and this is in a size extra large which is so awesome it's kind of hard to see how it would look on but it's just kind of like a slouchy I think it might actually kind of sit off of one shoulder but I was super excited about it being extra large. A lot of the stuff you will notice was larger sizes, which I was so happy about. I haven't been able to find large and extra large stuff recently in good condition. However, the last three weeks or so, I have found a ton. So that's so awesome. I was really excited about it. This is a size large, and I picked this up based on style. Um, it is an okay brand. It's XCVI, which I haven't sold before. I know my mom has sold it in her closet, and I think she gets about $20, maybe $25 for the pieces she's sold. I just love these velvet sleeves with this design, um, and it's like a Baroque design, and I love the color. I love this gold color. This is a really pretty Anna Sui lace trimmed cropped button up top. How cute would this be with some high waisted black skinny jeans? This is a size four. This is a good find. So this is Retrolicious, which is sold on Mod Cloth. This is a size medium. And this is a Constellation printed dress, like a skater style dress. And anything with a really cool print like this from Retrolicious, I have noticed does really well. This dress in particular, I think it sells for around 35 to 40 on Poshmark, so that's great. It has a keyhole opening in back, and it's in great condition. It does have pockets. I also loved this find. This might be one of my favorite finds. It's Maeve from Anthropology, and a lot of Maeve specifically this sub brand from anthro it doesn't do as well as it used to however this dress looks like it does really well so i think it's a newer piece is one reason so it has this layered top portion and then this silk blend bottom portion and it's very full it has two or three layers to it and Obviously, this is great for this season. It's a size medium, so pretty. I think there's only like one medium available on Poshmark right now. Um, and there were five or six solds for like 75 to to $100 if I remember correctly. Um, but I just love that. That was a great find. 
Victoria's Secret size extra large. This is a swim cover up. It's like a bat wing sleeve. And then it does have these little tiny pom poms around all of the trims. So cute. It has this cutout in back with the elastic. Adorable. Soft surroundings, size large. It's a hot pink long sleeve blouse with pockets in front. We have a Brandy Melville floral printed. This is called the Jada Dress. I've sold this several times before. Again, great bread and butter for people to bundle with in your closet. I think this is one size. More soft surroundings. This is petite medium. I went back and forth on if I wanted to get this because it is a petite size. However, there are petite people out there and they need clothing too. I also like this kind of washed charcoal look and I liked the fabric. This is just a tie-dye look maxi skirt. I will model this to kind of give the buyer a better idea of how it would look, how you could style it. Okay, this, I said the Maeve dress was my favorite, but these might actually be, they're a close second. So, it, they're vintage. Amy Buyer, size 5, which I think is a junior size. They are like overalls, I guess you'd say. They're like a jumpsuit but they're polka dot and I'll have to insert a clip of me trying them on so you guys can see but they are just so cute they have pockets here and they would just be adorable with like just a white t-shirt underneath or maybe like a black tank top um, but they're a little bit pleated in front if you can see that and they do go down just a little bit lower I thought these were precious, so I definitely had to pick those up. That kind of stuff sells the best for me. It flies out of my closet because people know that it's one of a kind, you know, it's vintage. They're not going to be able to find another piece like it if it's sold and they know that it will like haunt them forever. I'm speaking from experience. Um, so that kind of stuff tends to sell very quickly for me. We have more vintage. This brand is gasoline and these are overalls. Any kind of vintage overalls, again, sells really well for me. Um, and this specific vintage brand, the comps were really good. I saw some overalls had sold for like $75 on Poshmark. So that was great. Here is the tag. Next we have Eloquy size 20 and this is actually new with tags which was very exciting it's a red blazer and I really like this because it has kind of a flared sleeve and the sleeve has a split here which is just a really nice chic detail to the blazer it also has one gold button in front structured shoulders Okay, next this is Theory size large, 100% cashmere turtleneck dress. It's long sleeve. It does have a little bit of fuzz on it. You need to lint roll it. Um, but yeah, 100% cashmere. And it has little to no pilling, which is pretty rare with cashmere at the thrift store. So I was pretty excited about this. That should do well. I loved this piece as well. It's also vintage. And it's a linen blend window pane printed one button cardigan. <laughs> it's a long line. It has pockets at the hips. I rolled the sleeves. They are full length. You could wear them full length. But it's a really nice navy color with the white window pane print. And yeah, this is just a great um, vintage piece. The brand is Claude never heard of it. It's viscose, rayon, and linen. 
I don't really ever pick up Chico's. I know I have a couple times in the past, but I could not leave this 100% genuine leather metallic zip-up jacket behind. How pretty is this? This was probably $250 retail maybe, maybe more. Um, it's in fabulous condition. The first place that I look when I'm checking condition is the sleeves. Um, that's usually where things get dirty the quickest. Also, I'll check around the collar and um, everything was great. So I was so happy to pick this up for $2. Kind of insane. And it's a size 3, which in Chico's converts to an extra large. I picked this up based on style. Again, tie-dye has been super trendy. This is a 1X, also for size. It's a navy dress. The brand is Karen Kane. And it's plain up top. And then I thought the bottom was so cute with these tie-dye details. It's like a shark bite hem. And also, it's super soft. So the size the tie-dye print and the material were all the reasons that I decided to grab it. Well, I don't see the material tag, but it's like a rayon jersey stretchy knit. Also picked this up based on style. It's just apartment 9, but it is cheetah print and it is new attacks. So that was great. It's just from Kohl's for $60, um, which I'm sure, you know, after all of their sales that they run, this was not $60. However, I will totally pick it up for two. It's an open front blazer with a leopard print. It's a long line and this is actually super flattering. I did try this on. It's a size small. We have another lag and look style dress. Oh, in, in easy, oh maybe. I have not heard of this brand, but it is linen. It's linen and then it's like a midi dress. It has the pockets, high low, kind of like a jagged hemline. It has this like contrast stretchy knit on the back. And so I thought this was really cool. It is made in Italy, which is a great sign. I believe it's 100% linen, and I saw some of these had sold for, I forget, but it was above $50 on Poshmark, so I'm probably going to price that one high. It is a size large, which again, in lag and look styles, size large, extra large, plus size, do really well. This is another really good find, L.L. Bean, 100% cashmere, size small, and this is in amazing condition. It looks like it was just purchased and then donated. It's so soft. Um, it has pockets at the hips. It's just an open front. There's no button. Um, and yeah, I'm always really excited when I find 100% cashmere that has little to no pilling. Jams World. This is a great brand during the summertime. It does pretty well. This will sell for probably $25 to $35. Some of them can sell for up to $50, maybe even more, $100. I don't really know. I've never sold one for more than probably $30, maybe $35. Um, but I love the print on this. It's very vibrant. It has a lace-up front, and it's a size medium. Next, just a plain Maeve dress from Anthropology. It buttons up the front, zips on the side. Another piece I picked up based on style, this is American Rag 0X, again, for size as well. And this actually has 1% alpaca in it. I saw that when I was researching it, which is pretty surprising. Um, alpaca is definitely a more luxurious fabric, and so, um, yeah, all of those things combined. I definitely wanted to grab this. Again, it's in flawless condition. Mermaid from Anthropology. 
size medium, just a linen blend, short, great for the beach. They are missing a button here, but they do have the extra button on the inside fabric tag, so I will just put that back on. Tiny from Anthropology, size medium. Embroidered sleeveless tunic top. I thought this was really pretty with the floral embroidery. And it has a high-low hemline. Really nice. These are pretty funky. Also, they left the sensor on these, but that's not really a big deal. I go there like every week. Um, and so I'll just hand it to them and ask them to take it off. I've done it several times before. Lily Pulitzer, they are a wide leg trouser pant and they have this sea life print to them, I guess you'd call it, with crabs and fish, stars, they're really cute. I have actually never sold, maybe I have, I don't think I've sold anything super loud and fun like this from Lily Pulitzer before. So I'm excited to see how these will do. It's the season for it. These are a size, um, size four, and these look like they've never been worn. So that was great. Altered State, I like to pick this brand up as a bread and butter brand. Just a striped off the shoulder style dress, mini dress. It is fully lined, half sleeve. Tahari, 100% linen, extra large, dolman style blouse, button down blouse. Really pretty. I love this. It's like a dusty mauve color. Great condition. So, stuff like this. When I first started out reselling um, and I was shopping at the store, I probably wouldn't have picked this up. But this is a great piece. The brand Tahari, it's a great brand. And when you combine that with extra large and linen, and it's, you know, the season for linen, this is a great piece, um, especially for, you know, $2. It's a great piece to have in your closet. Lucky Brand shorts. They're the Riley short size 26. They have some embroidery on the sides. Another really good find, Ruli. I've sold this once before. It seems like it's pretty trendy. I don't think it's a very high retail brand, but people seem to really like it. And they will, um, the Ruli brand does sell sometimes between $40 and $50. I'm not too familiar with it, but I did see um, some comps close to $50, which is great. And this is like a checked material or pattern. It has like faux wood buttons. It's a size extra large, which was why I was so excited about it. It's fully lined. Um, and I just kind of loved these muted colors. A Lululemon tank. I did find the style name of this, but I forget right now. It's something singlet. It's just a basic tank top, size 4, and this nice kind of magenta color. I don't know what you would call that. Pinky red. So this is definitely a high-end brand, Jill Stewart, Jill Stewart Collection. So she does have Jill by Jill Stewart. This is the higher end label and it's a really pretty lace overlay mini dress. It has these very dramatic puff sleeves and it's the lining is 100% silk. It has no size tags, so I'm just going to measure it. And again, I'll probably model it, but it's in great shape. So that was an awesome find. This was, I went back and forth on this, trying to decide if I wanted to pick it up. I think it is a little bit of a dated style. However, it's 100% genuine leather and it has floral embroidery so honestly I just couldn't leave it 
it has like a butterfly here and it's really high quality it doesn't have a brand tag it has a size medium tag i was able to find the brand just kind of searching around i forget what it was um, and a couple of of um, jackets exactly like this had sold for around forty dollars on poshmark before so i'm definitely going to try it out and just kind of use a lot of different keywords this is Pure Jill Extra Large. It's a faux wrap dress. I got this because, again, it's extra large, excellent condition. It's super soft. It's a great basic. Um, and it's that, like, stretch. It's Pima Cotton, Modal, and Spandex, which is a great fabric combination. It's super soft and comfortable, and it stretches. Next, this is Puella. And this particular piece was sold at Anthropology. This is not an Anthro exclusive brand, um, to my knowledge. It's a maxi dress. This is called Market Day or something about the market. That's the style name. And it's a striped maxi dress, size large. We have a Madewell 100% silk sleeveless blouse size extra small. This print is called like the stroke dash print, I believe. Really pretty. I liked this because, so it's old navy, but it's a size extra large and it has bumblebees all over it, which are a pretty trendy print. So I figured again, this would be a nice bundle piece. Hi Hi Coral Pants, Linen Blend Pants from Anthropology. A wide leg. I don't know if they're cropped. I need to measure the inseam. They're a size 4. This is cute. This is Matilda Jane. It's a printed blouse and it has pleating in the back. Matilda Jane, again, good bread and butter item. This is a size large. Um, I have sold a couple of her pieces before for around $25 to $30. I had never heard of this brand, but the print definitely drew me to the dress. It's called The Kit. I looked it up, and the website is really nice. The brand looks like it's very high quality. I think it's maybe a newer brand. This specific dress did retail for $88. And I think the brand is all about very vibrant prints. Um, and so, yeah, I thought it was really pretty. I also found the exact same dress in the same size, medium in a different color. This is called the Camille dress, I want to say. It's very flattering. It has this ruching on the side and it is a midi length. Can you see the ruching? I think you can see it. Really pretty. Okay, so next I grabbed five size extra large dresses that are kind of more lower in brands, but um, they are great pieces. They would be great basics for someone. And so at $2 each, I was able to grab um, several of the dresses to bundle them. I think I'm going to price the bundles at around $35, maybe $40. So the first bundle that I'm going to put together is comprised of this Gap dress. Gap. Again, everything I'll show you in the next two bundles is size extra large. So this is a really soft, modal, stretchy spandex maxi dress. It's navy and white striped. It's in excellent condition. It is so soft. Actually, let me see. Is that? Yeah, 96 modal and 4% spandex. And then... This is just from Target, Exhilaration, but I thought the quality of this was really nice. So it has this embroidery at the neckline and this really nice kind of bohemian print to it. It has tassels at the waist. It is lined, it's fully lined. Um, 
and then it has elastic at the back. And then the last piece in this bundle would be this gap black, kind of a slub cotton maxi dress. So just a great basics bundle for someone for the summertime. And then the second couple dresses I grabbed to put into a bundle, first off is Loft, it's like a burgundy floral printed swing dress, really pretty, it's a shorter length. And then Old Navy, a chambray button down dress. So those two will be in a bundle and then the three maxi dresses will be in a bundle. And I think again, I'll price it around $35 to $40 for each bundle. Maybe a little bit less. I need to kind of run comps on these. Next is this crop top. I just thought this was really cute with the ruffle details and it's cinched in the front and I liked the oatmeal color. Madewell, basic little black dress. It has pleating in the front. I've noticed that just kind of plain black dresses from Madewell do pretty well. This is a size six. Kind of has a lower back and then a zip. Free People, Beach Cocoon. I forget the specific style name of this top, but I've sold it probably five or six times now. It's like the beach cocoon turtleneck or something like that. And this is the tag. The ones that I've seen in the past have always said one body, but this one says two body. So I thought one body meant that it's one size, but two body, that's kind of throwing me off. I think that just means that this is a bigger size maybe but it has this kind of cowl turtleneck. It's like a space dye. It's really soft. And it has the contrast color at the bottom. Title nine, which does pretty well. This is probably a solid 25 or $30 sell. It's a halter style at, up top. It is lined at the chest. Here's a tag, it's an extra small. It's like a outdoor type dress. It has a print to it. I don't know. I don't think that's a floral print. I don't know what that print is, but it's a mini, mini length. These are some champion lounge shorts. I don't know what these will go for, but I definitely wanted to pick them up. I know that I can make at least $10 on them. Champion is pretty popular, especially with like loungewear stuff. Free People, this is the Catalina Thermal. Again, I've sold this several times before. It has all of these raw seams on the back. This is a size extra small. I liked this. I actually picked this up for me, but I just didn't really like the way that it fit. It's just universal thread from Target, size extra small. But this looks like it actually does okay. I saw a couple soles for around $25. It's ties at the shoulders and then it's a jumpsuit. So it's very trendy and I like the color a lot. It has pockets. The pants are like a cropped length and it's in really good condition. So this should definitely sell. Just a pair of bullhead shorts. These are a quick $15 sale, slouchy, short, and a size zero. This is an American Eagle crochet overlay romper, size extra small, really cute. Rompers always do a little bit better for me than like just a basic mini dress, so I do like to pick them up. New with tags, Free People shirt. I liked this with the mix of like more formal with the collar, but more casual with the kind of low neckline here. This is a size extra small. 
It doesn't say what the style name is, but it retailed for $58. Athleta, this is one of their newer tags. I don't know if it is the newest, size small. And it kind of has like a dolman sleeve on one side. Very soft. This is probably again a modal blend. It's like that rayon jersey. Modal and spandex. I went back and forth with this top. It's Rachel by Rachel Roy, which I don't really pick up. However, I liked the print. I especially love the print on the back. Um, and I also like that it had this asymmetric button detail off to the side, so instead of down the middle. And it also has embroidery where the buttons are. So I had to just go ahead and grab it. It's a size medium. I think someone will really like this. It's very quirky and fun. Free People shorts, size 24. These are really cute. They have little tiny like rosettes trimming the pockets and stuff and they are frayed and also the pockets have this extra little bit of like crochet or lace fabric that pokes out which I think is really cute. Moth from Anthropology. I liked this color. It's an open knit high low. This would be good for layering. This was another one that I picked up based on style and fabric. It's Abercrombie and Fitch, which I don't think I've ever sold a size zero, but I liked the style of this. So it has spaghetti straps, but then it has these ties that just kind of sit at the upper arm. And it's also a linen blend. It's a midi style, which again, midi style does a little bit better for me. It's also really well constructed, so it has the gel lining around the bust, so the dress stays put. Eileen Fisher, size large, 100% linen, gold tank top, just a great basic. I liked this because it is zodiac themed, which has been really trendy recently. Anything with Zodiac prints has been um, a little bit more sought after. This is a nightgown and it's definitely vintage. Here's the tag. But it doesn't look like it was ever worn. It is um, in excellent condition. And again, I just loved the print on it. Guess shorts. I probably would not have picked these up if they didn't have this embroidered triangle guest logo on the back. Um, stuff with that seems to do really well. I also liked the studding and they have manufactured whiskering on the front. These are size 25. Altered State. Again, this is a great bread and butter brand. People seem to really like it. Size small. It's a floral, kind of peasant dress, really pretty. Okay, so this is um, American Eagle Soft and Sexy, which I never really pick up just because um, the individual pieces aren't really substantial enough usually, like it's just a cropped t-shirt or a tank top. Even though they are good quality, they're really soft and comfortable and people do seem to like them. Um, they really sell, only sell for around 5 to $10, which isn't worth it to me to pick up the individual pieces. Sometimes if I can find them for really cheap at the bins and I find like five of them in one size, I will get them to bundle with. However, this piece was substantial of enough of a piece. This piece was substantial enough alone for me to pick it up. It's soft and sexy plush, size large and it's camo and it's long sleeve so i think this will be 20 maybe 25 dollars i don't know we'll see maybe 15 to 25 is my guess but people have been loving camo it's a larger size um, it's in excellent condition and it's a long sleeve if this was a tank top i might not have picked it up billabong again a brand that i don't think i have ever sold before 
but I just really liked this maxi dress. So it's very thin straps and it has this print to it. It is fully lined and it also has the attached um, padding inside, which is really great. Again, really well constructed and thoughtful. Size C or D is what the cup size is. It has this cutout in back with the elastic and actually this is O'Neill, sorry, not Billabong, O'Neill. And this is a size large. Next, we have a pair of Beta brand pants. This is a great brand to find, especially for $2, size small, long. And these just need a quick lint roll. They're a nice plum color. Um, good condition. I liked this because it reminded me of a Reformation. It seems really trendy. This is like a vintage Forever 21 tag. But look at the construction of this dress. So it has these really pretty kind of dainty ruffled um, straps. And then this tiny floral print. It's a midi length ties at the bust. This is a size, I'm sure it's a small or an extra small. It looks tiny. Next, some more bread and butter. This is Torrid size three. They have a vanity sizing, so this is a 3X. And it's just a great ponty knit, midi length dress. It's a great staple piece. It has a V-neck. Next, we have a pair of Sundance embroidered kind of board short length shorts. They have this floral embroidery, really cute size 6. I picked up this Athleta swim top. I normally don't pick up swim separates. However, I thought this one would be really easy to match your bottom with. You could just wear a black pair of um, bikini bottoms or white or gray. It's very strappy in back and also it is Athleta. So it's a little bit better of a brand. It has a cute style to it and it's easy to match with. It also has the padding still attached. Size small. Another piece I picked up based on style and size, Jane Ashley Woman 2X. I really liked the botanical print to this. So it's like these leaves on the top and then at the very bottom hem, it is a maxi dress, there is this vibrant floral pattern. So I thought this was super cute to throw on. It ties in the back to make it a little bit more fitted. And our very last piece is Myrtle Wood of California. This is sold through Mod Cloth. I don't know if it's Mod Cloth exclusive. This is a size 1X, which is great for this style and brand. Let me see if I can figure this out. Okay, so it's like a pinafore style dress. That's the front and it has pleating. It's like a pinafore overall dress kind of. And has this really cute contrast floral lining. Um, it does have pockets, it zips down and back and the straps are attached with buttons so they are adjustable which is great and that's it for my huge haul i hope you guys enjoyed i do have about 50 of these items photographed and i have them in my draft section so once i upload this video i will upload those and then the other 50 or so items i should have up soon after those so again thank you guys so much for watching Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. I make a lot of thrift hauls and what sold videos and um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thanks guys. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.